I'm looking really, I'm looking really crazy. I'm just gonna do it anyways. I'm just gonna do it anyways. Hi. Hi guys, how are you? I can't wait for my new glasses to come in. I ordered these new glasses. I'm really, really excited. They're like a light pink. They're like the same size and everything, but they're like a light pink. I'm just gonna wait for a couple people to hop on. Um, I know some friends like really um, get notifications or whatever whenever I go live and they like to hop on and have some coffee with me. Come have some coffee. Come have some coffee with me. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this coffee. Seriously, that was kind of gross. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this coffee. I made it this morning before I went to go drop Bailey off. I'm going to show you guys right now what it looks like outside of my house, okay? This is what it looks like. Let me wipe the thing for you guys. It's snowing. I just dropped Bailey off at school. This is what my front my front yard looks like. I'm parked like on the side of my house. Isn't it so pretty? I'm gonna put a video on my story that I took on the way to drop Bailey off at school. And it is like so freaking gorgeous. You've got my truck just sitting over there. Him's just chilling. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I just love it. You see my tire tracks? <laughs> Matt is so freaking smart. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if you guys like know someone in your life like this, but like he notices like really small things, like really, really small things. So like if someone comes into the driveway and like we don't hear them, he can tell that someone was in the driveway by their tire tracks. Isn't that really crazy? Does anybody know anybody like that? That's Matt. Footprints. Like, he can tell if there was, like, what animals were walking through our yard. Because he can, like, he sees them before I see them. And, like, I don't notice stuff like that. Like, I could literally, I walk into people's houses all the time. And I'm just like, they're like, do you notice anything different? Do you see anything new? My father-in-law does this to me all the time. He's like, do you notice anything different in here? And I'm like, nope. He's like, oh, well, we got this. and Or we did this differently. Or or whatever and and i'm like yep yep it didn't even notice i don't notice small de details like that my head is literally always in the clouds i am like i don't know i'm always just here there and everywhere is and my mind is in 50 different places at once drop a one below if you feel me on that is your head everywhere is at once are you crazy like me are you all over the place do you have five million things to remember do you have a lot of freaking kids like I don't know, but um, that's literally my life. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys that this morning, but I didn't want to hop on here because of that. I wanted to hop on here because um, I get this all the freaking time. And when people go and start something new, um, whether it be starting products with me, um, like their weight loss journey, or if they are getting started wanting to make money with me from their phone or whatever, I hear this all the time about being afraid. Have you ever gone to do, do something before and like have been like terrified to actually do it? Like maybe you're getting, you know, you're getting started on a weight loss journey and you're thinking to yourself like, man, what if I put in all this work and I just fail? What what happens if I if I stay committed and it just doesn't work? Or what if I work out and people make fun of me? What if I look stupid while I'm working out? What if people judge me while I'm working out, right? What if I try to do this and then I look dumb because it doesn't work and I'm working out for nothing, right? Or I'm eating healthier for nothing. What happens if I sacrifice, I give up the good for the great and nothing happens? Then I just wasted all my time, right? Have you ever felt like this before? Or maybe not even with working out, maybe with trying something new or like, like our business, for example, you know, getting started in something like this is different. It's not the norm. I promise you, it's not the norm. You don't, you don't do the same things. You don't um, get treated the same way that you would get treated in a nine to five job. You don't um, click one button all day long. It's, it's different, right? Um, you're treated differently. You get paid differently. So in network marketing, you can actually get paid a lot more than at your nine to five job. At your nine to five job, you can't go and ask for a $2,000 raise. In network marketing, you can go and hustle for a $2,000 raise. So that's, that's like the difference between it. And I'll drop the IDS below so you guys can see what I'm talking about because it's, it's something that can change your entire financial world. And there's so many times where I go and I talk to people and when I'm talking to them, the, the reason that's holding them back is that they're afraid. 
And sometimes they can't even pinpoint the fear because the fear is literally all over the place. And they're afraid of this and they're afraid of judgment and they're afraid of, of um, putting in work for nothing and they're afraid of putting the money in for nothing and they're afraid of, of um, you know, taking their time and they're afraid they're not going to have enough time. They're, gonna, they're afraid of all these different things, right? And the, the, fun, the crazy part is, okay, and I almost said funny, but it's really not funny. It's, it's a serious thing. And the crazy part is, is that every single fear that you're having right now thinking about starting a business like this is the same exact fear that everybody before you felt. I'm just going to put it out there. Every single fear that you're feeling, everyone before you has felt. Okay. And here's the difference between it. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a secret. Okay. We're told that like, if, if something is supposed to be, if, if you're supposed to do something, you shouldn't have any fear. That's, that's the, the, thing that we have been brainwashed with our brains have been brainwashed they have been seasoned i like to call it season like put some marinade up in there you know what i'm talking about anyways so we are seasoned from all different areas that if if we're meant to do something then we're not going to feel any fear that it's just going to be simple it's going to be easy we're going to see a clear path and we're just going to go for it right we are seasoned to feel that way we th we literally were taught growing up that if it's meant to be then it will be have you ever heard that saying before like drop a two below if you've ever heard that saying if it's meant to be then it will be or anything like that if there's something else that you've heard before drop it below tell me what you've heard before some people have heard it and they don't even know that they've heard it. Some people have been taught these things and they don't even know where, where it even came from. But it came from somewhere. It came from your parents. It came from your coworkers. It came from society in general. It came from Facebook. It came from Instagram. It came from your friends that you used to hang out with when you were like 10 years old. It, it came from, you know, your college buddies. It came from your coworkers. It came from your boss. It came from somewhere. Okay. This, this out of control ego saying if it's meant to be it will be easy there will be a clear path to it i will not have to worry i will know uh, if i do this i will get from point a to point b right there's not going to be any fear because i know it's a fact this is all i have to do right like have you ever felt that way before because I know like I was seasoned as that. It took me an entire year to get started in this business because I watched this chick on my Facebook for a whole year. I became obsessed with her life. I wanted to see where she went. It was like a story to me. It was like I was watching my own reality movie, right? Reality TV. I was watching her because I wanted her life, but I was so afraid of judgment. I was so afraid of, I don't have the money. So if I did spend the money, I'm afraid I won't get it back, right? I was afraid that I wouldn't have enough time. I was working 80 hours a week. I was afraid of all these different things. Same with working out, right? I was terrified of what I look like when I'm working out. Like nobody looks good working out. We all sweat. If you're doing it right, you look sweaty. You look hot. Your clothes are like all baggy and gross. And you, you've got, you know, a red face and your hair is a freaking mess and frizzy. Everybody goes through the same exact thing when they're trying to lose weight. Especially like when, when they're trying to be at, from your level, you're all going to look similar, right? You're going to see a similar thing. And it's so crazy to me how our, our minds just automatically think that if it's meant to be, then it will just reveal itself and that there's going to be no fear wrapped around it and there's going to be no worry and there's going to be nothing, right? But here's the difference between people who come in with that mentality and or people who don't even get started because they let that fear hold them back and people who are successful i'm gonna give you guys a secret okay because you've been being lied to for your entire life if you really truly believe that if something's meant to be then you will have no fear wrapped around it then you will not be worried if you're if you're thinking about getting started in this business and you keep saying, I don't have the money, I don't have the money, that's, that's not because you don't have the money. That's because you're fearing what's going on, right? There's always ways to make the money to come up to make it happen. And I know this because I am one of those people. I am one of those people who is $500 in the negative to get started. And that's why, why when I say that, I mean it. Because if someone were to hold a gun to your head and say, if you don't come up with $39 today, 
you would do it, right? You would do whatever it took. You would borrow that money. You would sell some crap to get that money. You would, um, you would sell your couch. Like you don't, you wouldn't care because it's your life. It's your life. But listen, my friend, your life's on the line. If you're broke and you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're living a life of being stressed. You're living a life that is not even, not even what you want it to be, right? You're wasting it. You're wasting your life. So this is where I had to wake up. I had to say, if I don't do this, I wonder what my life's gonna continue to look like. I was terrified of wasting my life away. I was terrified of being 65 years old and not being where I wanna be just because fear of failure held me back. Because of fear of not being able to make my money back was holding me back because of fear of not having enough time was holding me back. I don't want to be 65, 70 years old on my deathbed and saying, damn, I wish I would have done something with my life. Anybody feel that way? I didn't want to be that person. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be that person. And so that's why here's the secret. Okay. I'm just going to spill it out for you. Okay. Three years in this business, three years of growth, tons of books, like almost a hundred books I've read. It's crazy. Okay. Through three years, of reading and just listening to podcasts and just living in the fear, okay? I've learned, and this is gonna be something that's gonna change your life, okay? If you take it and you use it, it's gonna change your whole life. It's not that the fear goes away. The fear never goes away. This is me bluntly saying it. The fear never goes away. You just get stronger. That's like the million dollar tip. You just get stronger. You have to feel the fear and you have to do it anyways. Stop taking the lies that people are telling you that if it if it's meant to be or if it really works, then you wouldn't feel that fear around it. You wouldn't be afraid. You wouldn't see all these different things. No, no, friend, no. If you really truly want it, you're going to feel the fear around it. And that's exactly what you should do. So I have literally learned the past three years that everything that I'm afraid of, anytime I'm afraid of something, anytime that I'm nervous, that anxious feeling, right? That anxious feeling is telling me that I need to do it, that I need to go towards it. Because everything that you want is right outside of that fear, everything. So I think about this. When I first started, I was so nervous to make it happen. I had no idea. But here's the thing, guys. You can be nervous getting started in a business. You can be nervous getting started um, with a workout plan so you can lose the weight. You can be nervous trying a new product. You can be nervous with, um, you know, getting married. You can be nervous having a baby. You can be nervous with all of these different things. But does that stop you from doing, you know, having a baby or getting married or whatever? No, it doesn't right? Unless you get really cold feet and then you just say, see you later, bye. Chances are you're going to ruin your relationship, but you get what I'm saying though? Like, is this making sense guys? When you feel that fear and you're nervous to try something new and you're nervous to do it, you're nervous to get started in this business. You're nervous to get started with these products. There's a reason because you are meant to do it. That is your internal whatever you want to call it, your internal clock, your internal, like, I don't know, mojo. I don't know. That's your heart telling you that you need this, but you're too chicken shit and you walk away from it. You walk away from it. So then you just sit another year watching that person on your Facebook saying, dang, wish I had her life. December 20, December, 2021 is going to look the same damn way for you. Want to know why? Because you're fearing everything and you're allowing it to control you. You're allowing it to take over you. And I know this because I did this for an entire year. I watched this girl on my Facebook. I kept saying, well, if, if it was true, then everybody would be rich. Well, if it worked, then it's not going to be, you know, that hard. Oh, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to, I'm not going to have any fear wrapped around it. That's a lie. That was a lie that I was told for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And I listened to it. I listened to that fear. I listened to it. Even though I physically watched her on Facebook with my own eyes, I watched her hit these bonuses. I watched her take her man out for dinner. I watched her pay off bills. I watched her talk about all these things that she was doing. But I said, 
well, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. I don't want to look stupid. I don't want people to judge me. It's usually all around judgment, guys. 80% of us are emotional decision makers. We link our, our happiness to other people. That's the problem. That's a big problem. We link our happiness to other people. So we believe that if we're made fun of, we're not happy, right? Guys, I'm made fun of every single day. People tell me that I'm, I'm stupid every single day. People tell me to go get a re real job every single day, okay? I still run my business. I still work completely from my home. I'm still paying off my debt like crazy. I'm still being able to build an addition on my house. I'm still able to, able to feed my children and I'm still able to go on Florida trips and not even, you know what I mean? I'm still able to do all those things. People are gonna make fun of me regardless. They're gonna make fun of you if you're not doing it. They're gonna make fun of you if you are doing it. They're gonna treat you like crap if you are. They're gonna treat you like crap if you're not. No matter what you're doing in your life, people are gonna judge you, no matter what. So if you're fearing all these things, you're fearing not having enough money, you're fearing people judging you, you're fearing people talking, you're fearing people talking down to you, you're fearing taking the time, all these things. My friend, the answer to your problems, the answer to your prayers is you gotta get out of your own way. You have to suck it up, get out of your own way, tell yourself, I know I'm scared, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And this is how you create success in your life. No matter what you're doing in your life, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're terrified of, no matter what conversation you're afraid of having, you're going to change your life if you just take that fear, you tell it to sit down and you stand up and go forward. I promise you, this is the, the answer to all of it. This is why, this is how you're going to get to where you want to be. This is how you're going to get the major success. This is how you're going to lose the weight. This is how you're going to, um, you know, do all the things that you want to do. This is how you're going to be able to feed your kids. This is how you're going to be able to pay all your bills on time. This is how you're going to be able to do all these things. You have to tell your fear to shut up and sit down. Take the back seat. Take the back seat because we're cruising. We're going to make it happen. I'm terrified, guys. Every single day, I'm scared. I'm afraid. We're going for a big promotion right now, but I'm telling my fear, take the back seat. I'm going to do it anyways. See you later. Bye. I'm going to do it anyways. I feel all of it every single day, but I'm going to do it anyways. And every single promotion month, guess what? We have not hit one year in this business where we have not gotten a huge bonus and taught our team to do the same thing. And so this is another year I'm doing the same exact thing. And if there's anything you can learn from me today, learn that you're going to feel that fear and, and you got to just do it anyways. It's not that the fear is going to just go away. It's that you're going to get stronger and you're going to finally grow the, the balls to say, sit down and shut up. And I'm not listening to you anymore. That's what you're going to do. And that's how you're going to create major success in your, in your life. No matter what you're going for, I hope and I pray that you make the decision to fear it and just go for it anyways. I love you guys so much and I'm going to enjoy this nice snowy day. I'm going to go work out and have some meetings. I love you guys and I hope you have a great day.